So far, the final section of our uh, form down here has shown a simple text view with whatever check amount the user entered into the original field. But now it's time for the actual important part of this project. We want this text view here to show how much each person needs to contribute to the payment. What's the breakdown of the check? There are a few ways we could solve this, but I think the easiest one here happens also to be the cleanest one here, by which I mean it gives us code that's clear and easy to understand. We're gonna add a computed property that calculates the total for us. Now this needs a small amount of mathematics, not a lot, a small amount. Because the total amount payable per person is equal to the value of the order plus tip percentage divided by number of people. So $20 plus 20% 20 tip divided by five, for example, right? Before we can get to that point, we've got to pull out the values for how many people there are, what the tip percentage is, and the value of the order. That might sound easy and mostly it is, but remember our number of people value is off by two. When it stores the value three, it means five people because we count starting from two. So we're gonna create a new computed property up here that'll be a double. And it'll start off getting all the input data ready, how many people were there, how much chip do they want to leave, and so forth. So we'll say var total per person is a double. And for now, we'll just do return zero, right? Just send back nothing at all. We'll calculate the total per person here. That is where we'll do our calculation. I've put in return zero so code doesn't break, but it'll go away in a minute. Next, we've got to figure out how many people there are by taking a number of people here and adding two to it. Remember, has a range two up to 100, so we've got to add two. So, so it counts from two rather than zero. So here, we'll start by saying, let people count be equal to the double of number of people plus two. Now you'll notice we're converting this thing into a double because it's got to be used alongside check amount, which is already a double. For the same reason, we've also got to convert our tip percentage into a double. So we'll say let tip selection be double of tip percentage. And so now we have our two input values we care about, how many people as a double and tip percentage of the double, we're good to go. This takes another three steps. First up, we can calculate the value of the tip, how much the tip itself is worth, by dividing check amount by 100 and multiplying by tip selection. Then we can calculate the grand total by adding the original check amount to the tip amount. And finally, the amount per person is that grand total divided by people count and finally return that. So let's say, let tip value, how much a tip is actually worth, is check amount divided by 100 multiplied by tip selection. So if, if tip was 20, this will divide by 100 times by 20, that's 20% of the total check amount. Then our grand total, the value of the order, check amount, plus the tip is check amount plus tip value. And now, amount per person is grand total divided by people count. However much total plus tip divided by how many people we have. And now we can return amount per person. With that in place, we can now use total per person in the final section of our table, way, 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 way down here, total per person. And if you run the app now, you should find everything works really, really nicely. Let's find out. Let's build and run. See if I've made any mistakes along the way. I think I did. Let's find out. So I'm gonna say that the check was, uh, what? Let's say it was 80 bucks, boom. And there were two of us, and I want a measly tip. So that'll be 80 plus 10% makes 88, divided by two makes 44. And as we change any of these things, it'll update immediately. 
because all our properties, uh, modify ones, are all at state. Changing any of them, changing number of people, for example, will change the whole rest of the thing to be recalculated automatically. Hopefully, you're starting to see for yourself what it means when we say SwiftUI's views are a function of their state. When the state changes, the views automatically update to match the new state.